Are you tired of farming manually? Is the fish not biting? Do not worry my friend, because in this video I will show you 5 easy and automatic food farms for survival of Minecraft. Let's start with the first one. Simple farms are my favorite kind of farms, and this villager powered potato farm is one of them. If you need a simple early game food farm and you have found a village, please do one of these. You won't regret it. You just need a 9x9 farmland, plant potatoes, get the villagers inside, hook him up with a composter, place some hoppers and hopper minecarts, and you are done. When this villager tries to feed his friend, all of the potatoes will go inside your chest. Hoglin farms are probably the easiest way to get food in survival. You build them about bedrock in the nature, AFK, and boom, you have food for days. The best thing about these farms is that if you use lava to kill the hoglins, you don't even have to cook the meat yourself. Now that's how you save loads of time. These farms are so simple to make, and everyone can make them, as long as you know how to get above the bedrock in the nether. You climb up to the bedrock up to Y126, throw a ender pearl or standing on ladders, and boom, that's how it's done by the way. Just remember to bring yourself some obsidian and flint and steel, so you can, you know, get out. No. Old school mob crossers. Yeah, we are back to the basics, everyone knows these, but I just had to mention them. These, my friends, is a nice and simple food farm. Here's how it works, you trap a cow, Click a button, water goes whoosh, and you feed them with some good old wheat. Now in Minecraft, there's this thing called entity cramming. So basically, when 24 mobs, in this case cows, stand in the same block, the exceeding mobs will suffocate. I know, this seems kinda awful, but it saves you the pain of smacking them with your sword. Now once the cows are fed, all of the drops, such as leather and beef, will go inside this barrel. For the next food, you will need three farms. Egg farm, pumpkin farm, and a sugarcane farm. Which makes, you guessed right, pumpkin pies. You, you guessed that right, right? So anyways, eating one of these restores eight hunger, just like a steak. But the saturation is lower, which means you'll get hungry faster. Compared to the mob crusher, making pumpkin pies is a lot of work. But I do like the fact that you don't have to cook them. You can just craft them in bulk, store them in a chest, and ta-da, you have food for ages. Now, this next food is considered to be the best food in the game. Golden carrots. And there's two ways of getting them, either farming or trading. If you want to farm them, you can build a villager-powered carrot farm. For that, you can use the potato farm design I showed you earlier. Or you can also do one of these micro farms to speed things up. Of course, you will also need gold. That can be done with a simple gold farm. But in my opinion, the easiest way to get these carrots is setting up a small villager trading hall and getting the golden carrot trade. But if you already happen to have a carrot and a gold farm, why not just craft them? So there you go, five amazing food farms for survival of Minecraft. Who am I kidding? Cakes are the best food in the game. You can place them down. You, you can eat them, you can pick them up. The cake is a lie. So anyways, watch these videos next, and please subscribe, or I will eat all of your birthday cake. My name is Cayman, and I'll see you on the next one.